With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A ring of mass m can slide over a smooth vertical rod. The ring is connected to a spring of force constant k is equal to 4 mg by r, where 2 r is the natural length of the spring. The other end, sp the other end spring is fixed to the ground at a horizontal distance, 2 r from the base of the rod. The mass is released at a height 1.5 r from the ground. So, this is the mass. It is on a rod and it is also connected to a spring which has been stretched. Now we have to find out the work done by the spring and the velocity of the ring when it reaches the ground. So, the work done by the spring, since the elastic force is a conservative force, we don't need to bother about what is happening between this uh, between the time that the spring reaches uh, that the ring reaches at the bottom and the time that the ring was was at the top and if you notice the natural length of the spring is 2r so what that means is when the ring reaches at the bottom the spring gets back to its natural position and when the ring has it is at its top that's the time when the ring has been stretched so the work done by the spring will be simply equal to 1 by 2 the spring constant times the amount by which it has been stretched squared so the amount by which it has been stretched will be if this is l so l minus 2r which is the natural length so to find out L, I will simply apply the Pythagoras theorem. So L square should be equal to root of 3R by 2 squared plus 2R squared is equal to 9 by 4R square plus 4R square under root is equal to root of 25R square by 4 is equal to 5R by 2. So this should be L. So, L is 5R by 2, which means the amount by which the spring was stretched is L minus its natural length 2R. So, 5R by 2 minus 2R. This should give me R by 2. So, delta X is R by 2, which means the work done by the spring is 1 by 2 k delta x squared is equal to 1 by 2. Now k is given to us in the question which is 4 mg by r. So 1 by 2 4 mg by r times delta x squared. So r square by 4 is equal to mg r by 2. So this is the work done that the spring has to do. So option A is correct because this because the spring spring has to do only the work that is required to unstretch itself because at the bottom the spring is unstretched and at the top it is stretched. So the only work that the spring has to do is the work that it is doing in returning to its original state. Now as for the velocity there is no friction involved so there is no loss of mechanical energy so what i can do is i can equate the mechanical energy when the spring was stretched and the ring was at top so call it te1 and the mechanical energy when the ring is at the bottom and the spring is constant so te2 so te1 will be equal to Te1 will be equal to the potential energy that is stored in the spring. So 1 by 2 kx squared plus the potential energy due to the height at which the ring is kept. So m into g into 3r by 2. So m into g into 3r by 2. So, 
Now 1 by 2 kx square I have already found out as mg r by 2. So mg r by 2 plus mg 3r by 2. This gives me 2mg r. So this is Pe1. Now the total energy when the ring has reached the bottom is in the system uh, in the system the spring is unstretched at that point when the ring has reached the bottom and the ring also does not have any height so the only energy that the system will have is the kinetic energy of the ring so te2 te2 should be equal to 1 by 2 mv squared now i can equate these two because there is no friction involved or any other non conservative force involved so 2 mgr should be equal to 1 by 2 mv squared m and m get cancelled so v square is equal to 4gr which means v is equal to 2 root gr so option number d is also the correct option for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today